We're live, Rafi. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to New York City Council's hearing on the Committee on Housing and Buildings. Everyone, please turn on your video at this time and silence all electronic devices. Thank you so much, Chairman. We can begin. Uh, thank you, Raphael. I am Council Member Robert E. Cornegie Jr., Chair of the Council's Committee on Housing and Buildings, officially gaveling, in us, in, gaveling us in for this vote. All right, pass ready, Mr. Chair? Yeah, I'm going to pass it over to uh, Billy Martin. Chair. Thank you, sir. Uh, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on housing and buildings. Introduction 874A, part of the lead package, improving tenant notification, interagency cooperation, conducting inspections, and issuing stop work orders in connection with lead paint and construction work. Chair Cornegie. Uh, I proudly vote aye and congratulations to the, the bill sponsor. Sorry it took so long, Mark. Thank you. Uh uh, Council Member Chin. Thank you. Uh, permission to explain my vote? Of course. I just want to say a few words about the bill. I really want to thank all, all my colleague and all the advocate and the committee staff. This took a very long time. It was supposed to be part of the lead package last year uh, because I guess the agency had to figure out how they work together. But I think as council member, you know, we fight every day uh, for our district and help our constituents improve the quality of life. And this piece of legislation is an important step to ensuring that no child must suffer because of poor oversight of construction in residential buildings. And in my district, I think also in um, Council Member Vera district, we have a lot of old tenement buildings. And I think there are those kind of old buildings uh, across the city and a lot of them, you know, have led and there's so much renovations and construction going on. Um, even though the city's rate of lead poisoning has lessened, but the lead guideline is still not up to par with the CDC recommendation. And this, the main part is that this bill legislates cooperation between agency, between DOB and Department of Health, so that when lead is detected during renovation and construction, that immediate actions are taken and and that's really important because, you know, the damage to a child is irre irreversible. So this is why it's so important that every child deserves to live in a safe home, free of environmental hazard and heavy metal. So I thank my colleague and I urge you to support and I proudly vote aye. Thank you. Council member Lewis. I vote aye. Congratulations, Margaret. Thank you. Council member Rosenthal. Um, I vote aye. Uh, permission to explain my vote? Of course. I, I'm stunned that we now have to legislate cooperation between agencies. Um, but, you know, there are many issues where that does, you know, where that cooperation is the answer to the question um, or, or whatever the problem is. So Council Member Chin, congratulations on your legislation and I proudly vote aye. Ellen, just on that point, I mean, last minute, right, Austin, when we were still, when they were trying to age the bill, I, I was speaking, the commissioner called me. I mean, it was like DOB said, look, we can take the sample, the dust, let the sample but we can't do the testing. But then Department of Health could do the testing. So they got to work together. But apparently Department of Health, I don't know if it's true or not, but they don't work on weekend. <laughs> but DOB is there all the time. So when DOB shows up and this bill require them, uh, if a complaint about lead to show up within 24 hours and they have to take the sample and then pass it on to Department of Health. Makes sense, right? <laughs> Mazel tov. Gordonchik. 
Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Clerk. I want to congratulate my colleague, Councilwoman Chin, on this legislation. And I want to pick up, I don't know if she left, but I just want to pick up on what uh, Councilwoman Rosenthal said. Maybe we need more legislation mandating that city agencies work with one another. Um, it has been over my uh, generation in government, a source of great frustration at times that one agency uh, doesn't know what the other agency is doing. And that's on the city level. When you get multiple agencies involved um, on a city, state and federal level, it could be maddening. And um, mm -hmm. that is uh, everybody's at fault and nobody's at fault. And that's uh, if you don't want progress. That's what you do. You put everybody in the stew and you don't make them work together. So I want to thank you, uh, Councilwoman Chin. Thank you, Chair, for advancing this bill. And I proudly vote aye. Thank you. Uh, Council Member Grudenchik, I hope that what we've done today has set a precedent and we don't have to do this every single time. So I'm hoping that um, this fire lit by uh, Council Member Chin is one that uh, kind of runs like wildfire throughout all the agencies <laughs> uh, to not want to do this and be embarrassed in this way. Uh, well, let's hope so. Either that or we need somebody like my, my late great mentor, Claire Schulman, who would lock people in the room until they <laughs> did what she wanted. So. Um, that was, effect that was effective too. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you again. Thank you. Joe Nye. I vote aye. Thank you. Council Member Rivera. I vote aye. By vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, introduction H74A has been adopted by the committee. And Mr. Chair, there are two other council members outstanding. We're gonna hold the vote open for a few minutes for council member Cabrera. Sure. Austin, do we, do we hear from his office? Yeah, he's on his way. Okay, thank you. Um, Council Member Chen. Yes. I'm in a little bit of an uh, awkward spot and I'm about to lose my signal. Would you mind closing the hearing out? Oh, I'll, uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> thank you. I, I couldn't think of anybody better on this occasion. <laughs> uh, thank, thank you guys so much. Yeah, thank you for finding the time to do this. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, Council Member Cabrera. Hi, how are you? Thank, Thank you for joining us. Call. The Committee on Housing Thank and Building Introduction 8748, Council Member Cabrera. A vote aye. Thank you. Thank you. The vote is now at eight in the affirmative. One moment. Thank you, everyone. Are we closing? Anybody else? Uh, no, uh, Council Member Chen, you can close out. Okay, so okay. eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, no abstentions, the final vote. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everyone. Uh, and the hearing is now adjourned.